what in the blooming hell was that? What was that? What was that performance? Do I take any positives out of that today? Of course I don't. Do I take any kind of light at the end of the tunnel for crew on Tuesday? No. If we play like we did today, even Crew Alexandra will batter us. And if we get battered by Crew, I think that's for the people that are left on board the final straw. If we get beat by bottom of the league and sent back to the bottom of the league, that's got to be the final straw for the rest of them, including myself. If we get battered by Crew to at least 2 or 3 nil. That's the final straw for me. I, I've got to say that now. I think it's the final straw for me. You know, I saw somewhere someone said maybe a relegation might be a good thing in the bigger picture. What? What? Sean O'Driscoll started poor when he first came here. He didn't get, in, get he didn't get relegated. He didn't. He didn't go down. Seriously. When are people going to stop? <sighs> I was one of the people that made excuses. I was one of those people. But like I said on Twitter, do you think I'm fence-sitting now? Hell no, I'm not. I ain't fence-sitting no more. We lose on Tuesday. He's got to go. End of story. And there's many different aspects to that. Who would come in? Who would do a job? I don't know if anyone could do a job right now. Because we are in utter, utter mess. And the problem isn't just with what's happening with the manager at the moment. It's not really the biggest problem. I think the problem, the biggest problem, is deep-rooted. I think it's way deeper than this. And it's going to get worse. It's going to get a whole hell of a lot worse if we don't fix up. The players on the pitch, not good enough. The manager, in my opinion, making wrong substitutions. Bringing off Huula, who, yes, had a poor game. And bringing on Brandon Horton, who's lacking experience in a big game when we're 4-0 down against Charlton. And we looked like we are playing five at the back at one point. Seriously? You bring a youngster on in that situation? I'd have probably stuck with Hawula and tried to attack, tried to get the ball back, and tried to look like getting some kind of goal or two out of this. But overall in the game, we had four shots not on target. The players that came off, the players that were still on the field for 90 minutes, just didn't look like they gave a hoot hoot about this club they didn't only two players get some kind of rating today Horton and Chakur get zeros because they barely made an impact it might be unfair but every other player is getting a zero there's only two players yet today that are getting a rating Tommy Rowe and Pontus Dahlberg and they both get fours Pontus Dahlberg would have been five or six if he did not um, made an error for at least one of the goals you know, that goal that was a tapping at the near post when Dahlberg just dropped it, when he, when he collected it, he just dropped it, and it was just stuck in the back of the net. <sighs> Seriously. Rookie, rookie, rookie mistake. P Tommy Rowe looked lively when he came on, looked like he was pressing high, and the free press called it an unexpected in appearance, pretty much, on the lines of an unexpected appearance. Because... <sighs> January can't come soon enough for this club. But again, if we don't do any business in January, I'm going to flip. It doesn't matter whether Wellens is manager or not. If we don't do business in January, something is very, very wrong. And it's not the manager situation anymore. Um, I'm giving you the player ratings. Um, but who have we got next? Oh, lucky us. we got Crew Alexandra away on Tuesday. 
Look who's getting no points. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I actually think Crew could actually beat us. I'm not joking. I think Crew could beat us. Um, I think Crew could do a, a number on us. Yes, they might be as bad as we are, if not worse, which is saying something. I think Crew could do something to us. I generally have a feeling that they'll do something to us. I think they might beat us by a couple of goals. I think they're going to be up for this. At least they're scoring. We're not. We've conceded the most amount of goals in the league this season so far. With Morecambe and Crew. It's going to be more. <coughs> uh. <coughs> oh, I'm so unwell. I, this club is just making me feel unwell. <laughs> um, that's going to be it, guys, for this video. It wasn't a very long one at all. I just can't be arsed at the minute. My name is Aaron Channel from Throw Football DRFC. Keep on the Rovers life and that, my friends, full time. Rovers side die. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, let's see what we put out on Tuesday. Not good at all. Rovers,